Hey guys, how are we diddling? Welcome back to another CQ video. You might be wondering, another one? When did he do one before? I did one a little while ago. Um, it kind of bombed a little bit, but fuck it. You know, we just do whatever we want on this channel now. But um, yeah, no, my I had a little bit of a query over the weekend. Um, I've been off on holiday this week, so it's been great. I go back in a couple of days, which sucks, but it's been great to get some time off and relax and catch up with some gaming, catch up with some friends. Just have a really good time, just a really good, just chill out, get the batteries charged. So, talking about batteries, that'll be another thing I speak about in a moment. But, I am, um, I was what, with, obviously with the release of Fallout 4, um, I've been seeing screenshots of that game, I've been reading a little bit about it, and it, it sounds really, really good, and it looks really good as well. So I thought, right, okay, um, I really want to get into this series before uh, I get Fallout 4, because I will be getting it at some point. I'll probably be getting it near Christmas time. Um, I know all you guys will have completed it by then, you'll have platinum, platinum it 100%, everything, right, by then. But I, I thought at the time, well, if I could get into Fallout 3 beforehand, then I'll get a fair idea of how the story goes. Because I haven't really touched a Fallout game before. Um, in fact, I haven't played a Fallout game before in my life. So I thought, okay, because with the series, it didn't really come across as something that I wanted to play. It wasn't something that I really looked into the storyline all that much. I just seen it as like another Call of Duty. I don't know why. It came across as another Call of Duty to me. It's not at all. But that's how, I don't know why, but that's just how I perceived the game was going to be before I really actually sat there and had a look at it. I should have listened. I should have read the title and understood it. Because I do have a brain in my head. But it didn't, didn't pan out that way. But yeah, so I've seen uh, screenshots of Fallout 4. Uh, and I really want to get into Fallout 3. Now, I've only got Fallout 3 for the Xbox 360. So, I've been playing... Up, um, I must say, I haven't put a lot of time into it, if I'm honest with you. Because the game itself is okay. Um, the graphics are really shit. And, of course, they're going to be now. Uh, the game came out seven years ago. So, it's going to be crap. Um, the storyline itself, actually not too bad. A little bit of a surprise that Liam Neeson was voicing one of the characters. But, um... Yeah, the, the storyline's okay. You grow up in the vault and then you are you escape from the vault, basically. Something happens, you escape from the vault um, and then you're let out into this, this what was it, post-apocalyptic kind of world. Um, and it's really, really good. I like that storyline and I like that aspect of it. But it's obviously, it's very confusing um, not knowing anything about Fallout 3. If you just go into this game not knowing anything about it, you will get lost in this game. It is very, very confusing. But I'm, I'm hoping... As the game goes on, I'm really going to enjoy it. So I'm trying to look past the graphic side of it. So I thought, right, okay, I'm going to get into this game and I'm going to play it. So I pulled out the Xbox 360. We're three minutes into the video and I haven't even asked the question yet. We pulled out the Xbox 360 um, and the controller, the old white controller, because I've got a white Xbox 360, one of the old ones. And this little bad boy, which is really quite muck it. That wasn't me. That was how I got it. Um, it sort of ingrained in the controller, which is kind of gross, but... Um, I went to play the the game on the 360. I haven't played it in a while. In fact, the last game I played in the 360 was Wally, -E, and that must have been about two and a half years ago. So it's been a while since I've touched the 360. But um, I went to play it, and unfortunately, we'd left the batteries in, uh, and the batteries had leaked. So this is now completely fucked. Um, so that really pissed me off. So I thought, oh, for fuck's sake, because I really wanted to play it. I was really in the mood for playing 360. But no controller, unfortunately. So I decided to go out to Asda and get one. So I went and bought a controller. I went and bought the black one because I quite like the black one. I'm hoping to... I kind of want to get a new 360. Um, I want to get the 360E, I think it is. Um, well, the latest one that's come out. I don't, I don't know. We'll see We'll see how we go with this. The controller itself is a bit fucking annoying, um, if I'm honest. I'm not a massive fan of the Xbox controllers. Same with the original one. That thing was a fucking... That thing was huge. It's like a house. It was massive. You could live under that thing. But yeah, the, 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 the thing is, I went to Asda and I went to buy it. It was £32 for the controller. Ouch! But I really want to play the game. And that's the kind of thing I'm getting at here. Have you ever got to a point where you've bought something, game-related, controller, console, game, whatever, and realised that you maybe shouldn't have because you should have saved that money for other things? Now, I have got fines I need to pay. Um, I've got tax office fines, which they fucked up my tax a while ago. I've just recently found out about it and I've got like a fuck ton of money to pay out. Um, but I really want to play Fallout 3 and I should have saved that money. And uh, now I'm kind of struggling for the last week. I'll be okay, I'll get by, no problem. But yeah, 
And if you ever got to the point where you've spent money on something that you shouldn't have just because you wanted to, you just, you shouldn't have, it's just for, what is it? What, what am I, what, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know, because you were, you, you bought a game, you wanted to play it, but you really shouldn't have. You should have saved that money for something else because you had something else to pay out for. Have you ever been in that situation? Um, because now I'm just, I'm, I'm looking at the 360 controller and I played a little bit of Fallout 3 with it, don't worry. I have, I have been using it, but, um, I was like, ouch. And then I should have, then I realised I should have waited for the Xbox One. I should have waited for the Xbox One. Just fucking grinned it out. Everybody's going on about Fallout 4. Fine, I'll know the storyline and the ending by then. But I should have waited until the Xbox One, well, until I had enough money to get it. Paid off the fines, then went and got an Xbox One. And then backtracked to the 360 games on the Xbox One. Because obviously it's backwards compatible now. So I should have done that. But it's one of those things I really want to get it and... I just, I feel like I've got a time frame I need to get things done in. Because um, at the moment I'm blasting through Uncharted on the PS4, the Uncharted collection, Nathan Drake collection. Just uh, going back through that again because it's fucking awesome. But yeah, I'm playing Fallout 3 on the side. I say on the side, I haven't actually touched it for like five days. But I am playing it on the side. I'm into the game now, so I am playing it. So as soon as I start a game, I have to finish it. It's a bit like Ether 1. Um, if any of you guys have, have got the game or... You've got it, but you haven't played it yet. Play it. It's it's weird. Um, that's all I can say. It's very, very strange. But Fallout 3, yeah, I went and got on 360 controller just for the sake I wanted to play this game so I can catch up with the series. Then I realised I don't need to play Fallout 3 to play Fallout 4 because it doesn't follow any particular order. Um, so, yeah, that... that once, I got, once I got the controller, once it actually the money had come off the card and I bought it and I was walking out of Asda with it, then it hit me and went, fuck, man, I should have just waited because I've got stuff to pay for. And it completely slipped my mind. So, have you ever been in that situation? Because it's happened to me a couple of times, I must be honest. It's not just with this. It has happened to me a couple of times. So, has it ever been a moment like that where you've gone out and you've bought something without really thinking about where that money's going and the money should have been saved for something else? So, you've went and bought something that you shouldn't have, basically, is what the question is. Um, and you've kind of regretted it afterwards. I don't regret it in the fact that I can play the 360 now, no problem. Because my 360... My 360... <laughs> That's a new one. My 360 is in mint condition. Um, it's got no problem at all, and it's getting plenty of plenty of ventilation. Fucking loud though. It's fucking loud, but it's okay. We're we're getting there. We're getting through with it. But um, yeah, have you ever been in that situation? Because that hit me over the weekend. I wanted to do the video on it. Um, it's it's been a little while since it's done, well since it's happened, but I'm doing the video now. Um, so yeah, so let me know in the in the comments below. In the questions below. Mm -hmm. Comments below. Um, or do a video response. We don't see a lot of them now. Um, we see a lot of video responses for channels that really, well, I'm not really going to talk about them, but you really probably should avoid, to be honest. But yeah, we're talking about, um, yeah, just do like a video response. Just do like a like a, a, a comment below or a video response. Let me know what you think. Um, and yeah, see how many people out there have done that because that was probably a bit of a stupid thing for me to do. I could have saved that money for something else. I should have saved that money for something else. Um, but, you know, it'll sort itself out. And I'm glad I've got a, a working 360 that I can play now anytime I want without having to worry about it. And the batteries, you'll be glad to know, are out of this fucking thing when I'm not using it. So, I don't want to have to go back down that route again. Because £32 for a controller, that's a, that's a lot of money. Um, let's be honest. I mean, PlayStation 4 controllers, you're talking about £44, £40 roughly. So, it's almost the same price. And it's... It's fucking stupid, but there you go. Um, I haven't bought a PS3 controller in a while, so I have no idea what they go for, but they're probably roughly the same, I would imagine. But I could have got a non-wireless Xbox 360 controller for 25 quid, but I thought for £7, fuck it, you know what I mean? And there you go again. The money's being spent. I should not have spent. But anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Um, let me know Let me know your answer to the question. Hopefully you understand it. Hopefully I've explained it properly, because I've got a habit lately of fucking rambling on and just being an arse but yeah so basically have you ever spent money on something that you really should have been you earmarked that money for something else and you regretted it afterwards um yeah answer away um in the comments below do a video response that'd be fucking ace um i would love to watch all those video responses and i know i've got a lot of videos i need to catch up on with you guys i fully intend to do that soon so bear with and i will be right back um and i've got more videos coming but in the meantime, take it easy. This is going to hit 10 minutes, hopefully. I'm just dragging it out now. Last few seconds. Come on, let's get there. OCD is going mental right now. But anyway, take it easy. Bye for now.